tonight on Reporting Scotland. Good evening. The Scottish Government's expressed rising concern about the number of coronavirus cases in Dundee and Lanarkshire at today's coronavirus briefing. At the same time, the BBC's seen a letter this afternoon from the government to the Council's umbrella organisation, COSLA, suggesting both areas have been under consideration for increased levels of restriction. Well, our political correspondent, Lindsay Bewes, is with me now. Lindsay, you've seen the letter. Um, what can you tell us? Students may not be allowed to return home for Christmas. The Education Secretary says there's a realistic possibility students won't be able to go back to their families, although he hopes this won't be the case. Universities and the Scottish Government are working on plans to allow for students to go home safely. But the National Union of Students says a clear plan is needed urgently. Here's our education correspondent, Jamie McIver. So as we've been hearing, we're preparing to move to a new system of restrictions. But what do the daily numbers look like? Well, at the moment, 1,052 people are in hospital with coronavirus and 90 people are in intensive care. Today, the First Minister again suggested there's evidence the rise in cases is slowing. A further 1,122 people have tested positive in the last 24 hours, which is just over 7% of those newly tested. Well, I'm joined now by our health correspondent, Lisa Summers. Um, Lisa, how stretched are hospitals then at the moment? of the first national study of the problem. The abuse is happening in the islands, rural communities and urban areas, with cases identified in 27 of Scotland's 32 local authorities. The findings come from the Scottish Children's Reporter Administration and the charity Bernardo's Scotland. They say child exploitation can be a particularly hidden form of sexual abuse and crime, where the victim may even believe it's consensual or not realise they're being exploited. Girls are more likely to be recognised as victims, with boys often overlooked. And girls are still more likely to be victims of sexual abuse and to have attempted suicide and self-harms. Well, Bernardo's has made 15 recommendations for action. And before we came on air, I spoke to Dalji Dagon from the charity. So, I mean, Bernardo's has come up with 15 recommendations for action. Can you just outline a few of, of the sort of the, the top recommendations you have to change this? Daljit Dagon from Bernardo Scotland. You're watching Reporting Scotland, a reminder of tonight's top story. Now, although much of the focus right now is on how to salvage Christmas retail from the impact of COVID restrictions, businesses who count Halloween as their busiest period are calling for more support for their sector. Costume shops, ghost tours and games rooms are facing a nightmare before Christmas, as our consumer affairs correspondent Nick Sheridan reports. A video posted on social media by a soft play owner calling for more support and guidance for his industry has now been viewed over a million times. Craig Meikle says he recorded the message because he doesn't understand why, understand why businesses like trampoline parks can reopen while well, he can't and now fears they will survive a matter of weeks without more help. He's been speaking to our correspondent, Laura Goodwin. Football and the former Rangers and Scotland manager Alex McLeish says the Ibrox side are now favourites to lift the league title and dash Celtic's hopes of 10 in a row. This after another weekend in which the reigning champions dropped points. But as the pressure grows on manager Neil Lennon, he's been backed by none other than Sir Kenny Dalglish, who believes Lennon will prove his critics wrong. Cardin at Sam reports. Well, now, Christopher's here with the weather and a beautiful autumnal scene behind us there. Yeah, not too bad. Is that what we can expect? Well, no, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, the point Laura. Of that, then? <laughs> Children are being sexually exploited in all parts of Scotland. That's the grim assessment of the first national study of the problem. The abuse is happening in the islands, rural communities and urban areas, with cases identified in 27 of Scotland's 32 local authorities. The findings come from the Scottish Children's Reporter Administration and the charity Bernardo's Scotland. They say child exploitation can be a particularly hidden form of sexual abuse and crime, where the victim may even believe it's consensual or not realise they're being exploited. Girls are more likely to be recognised as victims, with boys often overlooked. And girls are still more likely to be victims of sexual abuse and to have attempted suicide and self-harms. 
Well, Bernardo's has made 15 recommendations for action. And before we came on air, I spoke to Dalji Dagon from the charity. So, I mean, Bernardo's has come up with 15 recommendations for action. Can you just outline a few of, of the sort of the, the top recommendations you have to change this? Daljit Dagon from Bernardo's Scotland. You're watching Reporting Scotland, a reminder of tonight's top story. Well, that's the reaction in Dundee, Lindsay, but what have the Scottish Government had to say tonight? 